four, three, two, one, and lift off. Cape Canaveral, Florida, May 5th, 1961. U.S. Mercury astronaut Alan B. Shepard enters his spacecraft. Very shortly, he will be on his way into space. As the hatch goes on, two big questions come to your mind. Is the vehicle ready? Are you ready? While research and development was underway, you went through almost two years of training. You flew mission after mission in a trainer just like the craft you're sitting in today. Became completely familiar with every control and instrument. Zero gravity flights and aircraft acquainted you with the condition of weightlessness you would encounter in flight. You got in a lot of centrifuge time too. Today's flight won't submit you to any G-forces you haven't experienced before. The program simulated every possible situation you know you're ready to react almost automatically. You practice controlling the craft attitude by manual control of pitch, roll, and yaw jets. That will be part of your mission today, and you're confident that you can do it. You piled up plenty of experience in the three-dimensional rotation. You know that even if tumbling situations occur after separation, you can bring the craft under control with your manual control system. There were continuing flights in high-performance aircraft. They were important to you, too. You're an experienced test pilot. Flying is your business in any type of craft. You remember extensive training in escape and survival techniques. There is always the slight chance the spacecraft may land outside the pre-planned area. As you sit in the spacecraft, waiting for launch, you know your training has covered every conceivable eventuality, every emergency, no matter how unlikely. Countdown for a manned flight was in progress. That's a day that you will never forget. <laughs> 